Is it possible to find concentrations after a dilution? A dilution occurs whenever you increase the volume of a solution. In a simple dilution, the number of moles in the starting solution will remain unchanged to the end. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is when we dilute, should concentration go up or should it go down? Of course, it should go down because you have the same amount of stuff in now volume, in this case, that is twice as large. What you'll get asked to do in your exam is to find the concentration of this new diluted solution. So how do you do that? The quickest way that you should save for later is the dilution formula. C1V1 equals C2V2. C1 and V1 are the starting concentration and volume, and C2V2 are the ending concentration and volume. To find the final concentration after dilution, you put C2 on its own on one side. Then by subbing in each of the variables for C1V1 and V2, we find the answer is 0.5. And this totally checks out because if you were to double the volume, you would expect the concentration to half. To summarize, a dilution is where you increase volume and therefore decrease concentration. And to find the concentration of that diluted solution, use a dilution formula. You'll find it easily. If you're struggling with chemistry calculations and this made sense to you, follow us at Catalyst Chemistry for more. We'll see you in the next one.